um, report or report wizard or data source or whatever, you can rename it. And in this case, we're supposed to rename it uh, module two lab alpha. Let's take a look at what we have up here. Okay, and we reviewed this yesterday. So who remembers what a shared data source is? We have two types of data sources. We have a shared data source and we have what? The embedded. An embedded data source. Okay? So does anybody remember what the importance is of a shared data source? Uh, shared data source can be used by outside by more than just you. By multiple reports. Yep. Where are we getting what from? Data source. Yes, where are we getting our data source? And the reason why it's asking us again for each report is because for each report, you can have a different data source for it. So it wants to know, for this particular Module 2 Lab A report, are we going to use the shared data source, or are we going to use a completely different data source? Okay? So we need to right-click on our data source folder over here under our report data pane. All right, so just go over here to your Solution Explorer and right-click on the Reports folder. Anytime you want to create a new report within this process, select the data source. So you need to give your data source a name. What have we been naming our data source this week? Correct. AWDW2008R2. Then you need to select whether it's going to be an embedded data source or a shared data source reference the shared data source that we have set up. And once we do that, we need to create what? A data set. A data set. Because now that we know where we're getting our data from, we have to tell it what data we actually want returned. Right. So we need to build a query to return some specific results. Okay, so let's let's work on our query. Go so, on. Uh, Anyways, um, so you put create your data source. And, yeah, so now we're going to build our query. So you, you're up to where we are right now. Right. Are we not using query designer? Yeah, we are going to go into the query designer. When I hit query designer, it gets an error because... Okay. I get that error. Because... Okay. So hit cancel. And whenever... And test that connection to make sure that you are still able to, to reach your data source. What should happen when you come? Double... Oh, okay. Okay, so double click on the AWDW2008R2. Yes. Dot RDS. Double click on it, hit edit, and then test connection. And that will let you know if you're still connected to that data source. Uh, no, no server name has been identified. Uh, okay, so. Sure, uh, okay, so. Now select your database. Get your works, RW 2008. Click R2. OK. Yes. Click OK. Yes. Okay, now right click on our data set. Okay, data set. Rename it. Yep. It said sales per month. Yes. All right. So sales per month. Because it doesn't know where you're trying to get your information from. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. All I have is the dim or fact internet sales. I don't have the dim product. Um. Dim product. You want dim. Do you already have the data out there? No, that's so much data. Alright, so close this. Cancel. Cancel. Double click the data source. Yep. The data source that you set up yesterday. Yep, double click it. And go to edit. No, see, you're connecting to the wrong database. You're supposed uh, to be. Nope, you can't type it. You have to actually go in and edit and select the AdventureWorks CW 2008 R2. Okay, okay. Now right click on the data sets. Add data set. Nope. Hit here. Drop that. Okay. Sort of, or no, I'm sorry. Query designer. Uh, okay, here's why. Because you are not connected to your shared data source. And you can tell because that little shortcut isn't there, so double click that. And then select shared data source reference and then hit the drop down for the database. Yep. And then select OK. Now add your data set. Okay. So what are the statements? If I want to pull uh, information from a table, 
So what are the, the, the T-SQL statements I need to get started? You need select. Select, right, exactly. And then what's the other? We need to pull from uh, columns from the table, so we need to pull from a table. Okay, so from. from. Mm -hmm. The exactly. keyword is from. The keyword is from, exactly. Mm -hmm. So let's say we want to pull it from production, production okay. table. So mm -hmm. where, would we, where would we put production? Uh, on the from. Okay. Near from. <laughs> production, okay, so we're going to pull it from. All right, now let's say from the production table, uh, there's a column that's called um, widgets, and it's got the number of widgets in it. How would I get that information from that column? Okay, you, um, production, you name it a widget on the select widget. statement. Exactly. Select. Okay. All right, and so that's the statement that we need. Okay. Now let's say I want the total of all the widgets. Okay. What would I do then? And then you do a sum. Okay. Where would I put it? I put it in front of widget and then put a parenthesis. Uh, Widget means Exactly. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about how two tables are related to each other. So you're going to have your select and you're going to have the from. Now our requirements are to get dim reseller information and fact reseller sales. So we have fact reseller sales and dim Reseller. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our select. So whatever we want from here, we're going to go ahead and put the select right here and here. Yes. And then we can use the aliases. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> you didn't need slow motion, but okay. The future can lead for me. Nice, nice. And uh, yeah. So with the um, at University of North Florida, is that correct? What are you taking up over there? Um, my current major is communications. Okay. Uh, PR specifically. What what got you? I guess interested. Okay, I totally understand that. So how did you hear about the uh, the program? I heard about the foundation through my, uh, my cousin who was brought in and uh, he was actually brought in as for the course, for the, the, the week training okay. and he went through it, went through a couple af after uh, internships and through the internships he was hired. It's impossible um, without the Pragmatic Works Foundation. Absolutely not. The, the foundation completely opened the door for me to learn, get training, as well as help me for job placement. Uh, without that, I would not know where to start. I would completely just be back in retail. The Pragmatic Works Foundation has created an opportunity for me to come in and learn the basic skills I would need to succeed in the IT business and further my career.